Have you ever wished one of your mods could make a quick change in Lumia Stream or had a fun idea for a command but you would have to leave the game to create it? Then you have come to the right place. In this tutorial we will introduce you to a groundbreaking feature in Lumia Stream that will reshape the way you and your presenters interact with your audience. Say goodbye to interruptions during your stream and say hello to seamless, on-the-fly command creation and execution. Get ready to unleash your creativity and captivate your audience like never before. Yes, you heard that right. It's time for the Lumia Stream mod tool. With version 8.0.0, you are able to invite your hardworking helpers and allow them to access to your Lumia Stream. First of all, before your mod can get started, it must have an installed version of Lumia Stream. It doesn't matter whether the mod uses a free version or is already a premium user. Then you have to invite him. Simply click on your avatar in the top right corner and click on Manage Mods or on Settings in the left sidebar and switch to the Mod Tool tab. Here you can see who you are already a mod of and who your mods are. Here you can also kick mods or give up your mod status to someone else. Click on Add Mod on the right and then enter the Lumia username or the registered email address. Your selected user will then receive an email informing them that they have received an invitation and they can confirm or decline it in the app. You can also find your mod logs here on the page. Here you can track what your mods have changed in your settings. That was actually it for the streamer himself. Now your mods can get to work. To do this, the mod opens Lumia Stream at its end and clicks on its avatar. The name of the streamer that can be modded now appears here. If you are the mod of several streamers, all possible names will appear. Click on the name you want to mod. Lumia Stream will now show you that you are leaving your settings and entering the streamer setting. Click OK and wait until the app has reloaded. You are now on the mod dashboard. This will be expanded over time, but it already contains a few small start aids. As you can probably see, not all options offered by the normal Lumia Stream are available. Of course, we also try to protect your privacy here and therefore, for example, the settings of the streamers are taboo for the mod. Or it should be obvious that you cannot manage the connections. It might be difficult to connect the American streamers to YAS devices from England. As already mentioned, you can see the available options on the left hand side. Here you can change the alerts or simply switch them on or off. It could happen that you experience a huge raid and are totally overwhelmed by the situation. In this case, the mod can simply switch off the follow alerts with a few clicks so that you can get your breath back. Below this, as in the normal app, are the commands. You can change these, but also create new commands. The way it works is the same as when you use your own app. You can create chat commands, chat matches, chatbot commands, twitch point commands, extension commands and trovo spells here. We have always emphasized that it is always important to click refresh. Now it's even more important, because only then will the app be updated. However, we won't go through all the available options now, because the handling should be generally known. If in doubt, you can find all our tutorials via the small question mark. Nevertheless, it is worth mentioning that Raffle and FioQ are somewhat limited for technical reasons. A mod can operate them such as triggering the draw in the Raffle or selecting the players in the FioQ. However, they cannot create a Raffle or a FioQ. The streamer still has to do this themselves. On the other hand, we have two other nice features that making modding easier. Firstly, the mod sees the shortcuts button in the top right hand corner. Here the mod can trigger all your commands, alerts or studio creations. This is useful for example if you have special commands that you don't want everyone to see in the chat. Next to shortcuts you see a little mod icon. If you click on it, the mod locks will open. This is more interesting for the streamer than for the mod. Here you can see which changes a mod has made, just as mentioned earlier in the mod tool settings. 
However, these logs are limited to alerts and commands. You cannot see any changes to scenes, reactions or animations here. I think this is the right moment to remind you. Only give mod rights to people you can trust blindly. Changes made by a mod cannot be undone. Lumia Stream accepts no liability for any damage caused by a mod. But now the last mod feature of the video. Right next to logs you can see a chat tab. Here you can chat live with your mods. This is very useful if you are currently working on a project. Please keep in mind that only one user can make changes at a time. If two mods change the same command at the same time, only the second change will be accepted when you click on refresh. This is because the change from mod 1 does not yet exist for the second mod and therefore overrides the changes again. Have you been waiting for the mod tools? Do you have any questions, requests or suggestions? Write them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date and like the video and have a luminous day.